Hey BC, it's Glenn Kellaway from the basement. It's my second video for today, but I wanted to do this because I got all excited yesterday about something I got. So, um, about, I don't know, for the last little while, I've heard various VC members talk about Kate Bush. Um, it's an artist that I just have ignored. The only thing I really knew about Kate Bush was her performance on uh, Peter Gabriel's So album on uh, Don't Give Up, which is I thought was incredible. Her voice just sounds amazing, and she did such a great job. So she's kind of in the bin a little bit on my radar, but I just haven't spent any time paying any attention to her music. Um, so finally, I found... I've been looking for Hounds of Love on vinyl because... Uh, just from listening to VC members talk about Kate, I thought, you know, I should try something. And that seems to be a very popular album of hers. Some consider it her best. So a couple of weeks ago, I found a mint, well, I guess near mint copy of Hounds of Love. I brought it home and I listened to it. And I, it blew me away. Um, there are very few albums ever made that get me to actually sit forward kind of mesmerized and just like it was just so dramatic and so beautiful and uh, the songs are all strong it's just a great cohesive record um, really got me just sitting forward just intently listening like uh, uh, really got to me anyway so after that I told my friend Shannon D who's a big Kate Bush fan that I got the album and uh I'm really excited about it and thought it was great. And I said, you, you're gonna do a Kate Bush uh, kind of uh, video discography. And uh, I think I motivated her to move it up in the queue so cause she did it right away. So thanks for doing that. So yesterday, well, actually a couple of days ago, I was looking online at this used CD stores inventory that uh, isn't too far from me. And uh, they had a Kate Bush anthology box set. This one here. I'll take the lid off. So it was $70. I didn't know if it was a good price or bad price. So the first place I go is Amazon.ca to look. There's, it's out of print, which I didn't know. And um, the third party sellers the lowest price was like 500 bucks. I went, whoa. So I checked Amazon.com, thinking, well, maybe it's just a Canadian thing and it's available in the States. The cheapest price on Amazon.com is 400 and some dollars. Then I went to Discogs. Probably if uh, I bought from one of the sellers there, I might be able to get it up here for about 220 bucks, but there might even be duty on it, whatever. So uh, anywhere from let's say low price of $200 to a high price of $500 for this box set that I bought for $70 Canadian. So there it is. Very excited to have this start my Kate Bush journey. Yesterday when I got home, I had the opportunity to listen to her first album, Kick Inside comes with a booklet um, it's just basically uh, pictures of Kate there's really no story at the, the first of it she kind of gives a thank you and all that stuff but other than that it's just all it's all photos I understand there's a Japanese edition of this that's just incredible with a really in-depth book and better presentation but uh, this is uh, pretty cool so um, yeah, so the first album, oh jeez, hard to get out, man. That's the only thing I I'm, don't like about it, is you can't, there's no room in between to get your fingers in. So, her first album, The Kick Inside. Second album, Lionheart. Never Forever. Third 
the Dreaming, which I understand a lot of people think is her best album. I'm interested in hearing it. And let's see about the rest of them that I dropped on the floor here. Counts of Love, which I talked about. Absolutely love that album. There's something. I, I go, there it is. Oh, my God. Brutal. Her last studio album, I believe, is The Sensual World. And then two CDs of B-sides called This Woman's Work, which is the name of the box set. The Kate Bush Anthology, 1978 to 1990, This Woman's Work. So, um, I'm really excited about delving into this. I'll let you guys know how my journey goes and which are my favorites. Um, I really enjoyed The Kick Inside, especially the title song. The Kick Inside was the last song on the album, was really, really outstanding. Um, yeah, cool. So uh, that's it. Go back to uh, laying on your couch and enjoying your Sunday. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Peace out.